the Lord to everyone. Uh, this is we are continuing answering this uh, Muslim kid uh, video. Supposedly he is responding to me, and I hope you guys you will enjoy it. So listen carefully and let us show you how we can expose how stupid this religion is. Very easy. Here we go. Surah, Surah five, chapter forty-four. Verily, uh, uh, verse forty-four. Verily, we did send down the Torah to Moses here for them, for the uh, priests and the rabbis and the uh, uh, Jewish scholars. For them was entrusted the protection of Allah's book. They didn't protect it, they changed the word Yahweh and replaced it. And his Guys, did he say they changed the word Yahweh? So Allah, he's saying in his Quran, the real Quran, he gave him the Jewish, the word Yahweh. Suddenly it's not Allah anymore. No, listen, listen carefully again. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> for them, for the uh, priests and the rabbis and the uh, uh, Jewish scholars, for them was entrusted the protection of Allah's book. They didn't protect it, they changed the word Yahweh and replaced it. And here's another, here is another. You see, they changed the word Yahweh and replaced it, which means the, the original one is Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> I will consider this is a mistake from you. I will forgive you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to beat you in this one. I will beat you in the Quran itself. You are just a kid like your prophet. Baby kid. Continue. Another clear proof for the New Testament. They changed the word for the Son of Man came to save which was lost. Not my verses for a miserable price. That's an answer for you. Okay, okay, guys. In here we will see something. Let us see the the verse in a big uh, size so we can read the translation uh, in full text. It was we who revealed the law to Moses. Therein was guidance and light by the standard. Have been judged by uh, judged the Jew by the prophet who bowed as in Islam. So Moses is a Muslim, right? So this is the book of Islam was corrupted. Thank you. This is what we are saying. Your stupid God Allah, he sent books to be corrupted. And here I will show you something very stupid of your God as a proof. To Allah will be will by the rabbis and doctors of law, for them was entrusted entrusted the protection of Allah book. So Allah he gave them the trust to trust, you know, to protect his book. Now I want to ask you, you just said that the rabbis corrupted the book. Allah, he trusted them, they will not corrupt it. Do your God, Allah, knew the future? Like when Allah, he gave them the Bible or the Torah, the Torah of Islam, by the way, not our Torah. We are talking about the Torah of Allah, as you see. Moses, the Muslim, we don't know him. We don't care for him. Huh? And Jesus, the Muslims, he's a fool man. We don't know him too. Moses, the Muslims, he's a fool man. He's a fake man. We don't care for him. As you see, we are talking about the book of Allah, the God of Islam. So, your God Allah, when he gave those people, whoever they are, the trust to protect his book, do he knew the future? Like, do you God of Islam knew the future? Let me make it clear for you, because I am sure you are very slow, as all Muslims are. So in here, we will ask the first question, do Allah knew the future? I don't think so. Because if Allah is God, and He knew the future, He will not trust. And as you see in here, it's a matter of trusting. When I say trust, it means I did believe you. When I say I trusted you, it means I did believe on you. This is what the word trust means. I am investing with believing. This is what the trust means. When you trust someone that he will guard you, it means he is a loyal for you. You will not suspect for a second that he cannot uh, or he will he will trade you. Otherwise, the word trust would never been used. So in here, this is this verse alone in the Quran is enough to show us that the one who made the Quran is not only stupid, he is a big time stupid. If Allah is God, 
he will not trust people who he knew supposedly he should not trust so in here when I read this verse I ask myself do Allah knew the future if he does why he trusted them did it fool him oh he was a fool or maybe he was a drunk or you know what I think the Jewish are rich and they paid him because you have to find me an answer if God he knew everything how you use the word trust and in here let me make it clear this is what the Quran is saying that the rabbis and the doctors of law for them was entrusted the protection of Allah book which means they've been hired by Allah to do that job not only trust as a trust like you know okay I trust you you know no they've been hired it's an order of God and you know this is look how this God contradict himself if God he control everything if God he is in control suddenly the God he don't know the future suddenly the God is trusting people who should not trust suddenly the God is hiring people who they are bad hiring them for what to, to, to protect his book this is the most important thing in religion how you hire someone he is a thief he is corrupted he's a liar then it is mean that this is your God fault for hiring people he should not trust why he hired them when he should not trust them and again to make the story shorter trust is a word it's very important you trust it's mean you believe in someone your God Allah believe on them that they are honest which mean he do not know the future which mean he cannot be God which mean the one who made the Quran is just a stupid liar fool and I will play your voice again you saying that the rabbis who was trusted by Allah they corrupted the book which means the rabbis they did fool your God and your God Allah do not know that they will do that he just gave them the job otherwise if he knew and he gave them the job to do it it is mean his God or this God the God of Islam he is sending his book in purpose to be corrupted in purpose to deceive in purpose to lie because why you are doing it and why you are sending the book anyway if you know that those rabbis they will do that and why you are hiring the thieves to protect your jewelries I never heard that someone he knew that you are going to steal him he hire you to guard to guard him the most stupid argument ever in the history so this verse alone is enough to prove that your book is a stupid book and your God cannot be God and the one who wrote the Quran he is not smart at all to make sentences in a book let us continue and listen to your voice Surah 5 chapter 44 verily uh, uh, verse 44 verily we did send down the Torah to Moses here for them for the uh, priests and the rabbis and the uh, uh, Jewish scholars for them was entrusted the protection of Allah's book they didn't protect it they changed the word Yahweh and replaced it and here's another, here is another clear proof for the New Testament they changed the word for the son of man came to save which was lost okay thank you so guys we just to prove that Allah is hiring people and he is trusting them when he do not know that they are not going to protect the book because ask yourself if God he knew as we said that those people they will do such a thing they will corrupt his book why he is wasting his time why he is giving the book to Moses why 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 when he knew that those people they will do so in the top of that he is not only he knew the book will be corrupted no he is giving the job of protecting the book for the filthy people as the Quran saying 
Because as you see, those rabbis, they are not good. So the God of Islam is choosing the bad to protect his book. <laughs> and by the way, before I finish, because I want to make you laugh more. This is Surah 7, before we finish, verse number 145, your God Allah, he did not give his book to the rabbis, you stupid liar Allah. You said in your Quran that you gave him, you gave it to Moses, and those are given in tablets, not in a book. How you can corrupt rocks, have the words is written them, written there by the hand of Allah. This is an amazing stupid thing of your God to say. It is written by his hand in a tablet of rocks and they were able to corrupt it. Let us continue in the coming video. Jesus is Lord, Islam for full. Amen.